So you're thinking about moving to Prosper, Texas, and you're looking at Winsong Ranch, but you're wondering, are there any really good deals left going around? And there are definitely some good options here in Winsong Ranch. And I'm taking you to a new part of the community that is just getting built out and is offering some custom and a couple of spec homes. So spec homes, you could move in a lot sooner than just building straight custom. But if you want some options, where you've got some bigger properties and you're looking kind of like in the multi-million dollar range, then that's exactly what we're gonna be taking a look at today. So if I were to walk over here now, here's the downside of getting in the beginning. I'll say the downside, then the upside is that new construction, you're always gonna be having construction going on uh, you know, throughout uh, the time if you're one of the early adopters of moving in. Now, the good thing for that is you uh, get homes usually at a better price and homes in a new construction community typically appreciate uh, by default, uh, especially the newer ones, but as lots get less and less and uh, there's less opportunity to buy or build, then those prices will go up. Builders will rise, uh, raise those prices. And so it's something you wanna take advantage of. Now, these are some custom homes right here. We're gonna be taking a look at uh, partners over there and today and uh, Belle Claire as well. So we're going to walk in here and, and take a quick look just so we can get a good idea of what's going on. And by the way, it's just you and me today. No Alex. It's been a little while since uh, it's just been you and me and you have to let me know in the comments. Do you like it when it's just you and me or do you like it whenever I have Alex out and about? But uh, be nice if uh, you just want it to be us. But, uh, you know, coming into this office, first of all, beautiful hardwood floors in here wide plank looks like about probably seven inches white oak i mean just the finishes in here are nice but the thing is is that the opportunities in winsong ranch are starting to run a little bit thin and what's happening is you're going to see a lot in the news going on that you know builders are starting to build less which is true because guess what with interest rates the way they are uh they're they're tapping back down a little bit on uh, building but what that's doing is that's also reducing the inventory in the area even more than it already is that is something that is not necessarily a good thing right now because less inventory creates more demand and there is a lot of pent-up demand right now there are uh, buyers that are just waiting on the sidelines for just any little drop of the interest rates to come in and so that is something that you have to keep in mind as well is uh, if you wait around right now, whenever interest rates come down next year, and they likely will because we're going to be moving into an election cycle as well. So if we move into that election cycle and uh, somebody decides in the current administration to reduce interest rates just to kind of get on the good side of what's going on, well, guess what? There's going to be so many people because right now they're still estimating what, five to $6 million, depending on which report you look at, uh, shortage of homes in America. And so it's something, now this is really cool. This is what we love back here in Winsong. You see the walking trails. There's over 30 miles of walking trails throughout this whole, paved walking trails through this whole community. We can see how it goes in the backyard here. So this nice two and a half million dollar property uh, is, uh, you know, just has the green space behind you. You're going to get a little bit, uh, depending on the positioning, a little bit of the sunrise in the morning. You could come sit out here, have a cup of coffee, and you'd be able to catch that sunrise in the morning if you're a morning person. If you're not a morning person, well, uh, you'll have to go to the other side for the sunset. So the thing is, is that there's a lot of buyers sitting on the sidelines right now. A lot of you may be sitting on the sidelines right now and you know that's okay but you know seasonality comes into effect as well oh i like the i like the floor tile in here really nice so seasonality comes in effect and i know that you know the new home that i purchased i bought in february because anytime between uh september to usually things happen in january february uh prices start to come back up but seasonality takes an effect so usually fall and early winter uh, prices are going to be down regardless, all right? Doesn't mean the market's crashing. You'll see some significant drops if you look at median price or average home price or anything like that. But that doesn't mean the market is just completely crashing out. That just means seasonality is in effect and buyers are, oh look at that, hello. Uh, man, that's a really nice tub there too. 
Love that tile, that backsplash on there. So the thing is, is, oh, and not too shabby of a closet either. So the thing is, is that seasonality is natural. And if you look at, if you look at, um, you know, in the early fall and winter, then prices are gonna come down. They start to usually jump up here in the Dallas area. Around January, February, they start to rise. Now this year, earlier in February, I just noticed that interest rates were going up. That's when they started to uh, really creep up again. Is this a laundry room or what? That's what I'm saying right here. They started to creep up again, but then builders started coming out with a lot of incentives. And so whenever I saw that, I knew for me, I was like, this is probably the best time to buy, especially to buy in this upper area to where I knew that they were offering a lot of incentives. I was able to get $50,000 uh, towards closing costs and rate buy down. So I wasn't worried that the rates were 6% because I was able to buy down my rate to four and a half percent. All right, for the first year, it'll be five and a half percent in the second year. And I am betting that within the next, uh, within the next two years that rates will come down and I'll refinance. If they do drop to 4% next year, which people are predicting, then that will be the time that I'll, I'll refinance to, to uh, 4%, you know, permanently. And uh, doing that after a year is not a really a big deal. That's well worth it, especially with what I got in the meantime. So uh, it's beautiful. And you saw that really cool movie room. Man, this house right here, completely open, spacious. Look at that double island. It's amazing. Look at this mantle, matches the floors, really nice. So something to keep in mind that if you're thinking about making that move, I, home prices are continuing to go up here in Dallas. You know, we're not affected by, well, that goes actually back all the way. I just made a big circle. <laughs> this is a big circle that goes all the way back through to the laundry room and to the, uh, the main bedroom there. So. I'll take you upstairs here real quick. But the thing is, is that, you know, timing the market is almost impossible. I had seven rentals. I decided to get out of the rental business, single family rentals. I'm investing more in apartments right now. About to close up my third deal. It's gonna put me, give me about 620 units total, somewhere around there. I'll tell you the total number. But right now I've got 480 in my current portfolio, 480 apartments. So much better than single family homes. But in 2019, I thought the market was going to crash. And I thought, man, we're at an all time high. Everything's peaking out 2019. This might be a good time because I started buying my properties after 2009. I think 2010, 2011, whenever I started to buy my rental properties. And the thing is, is that 2019, I was kind of tired of messing around with the rentals. Just had seven of them and I was kind of like, eh, you know, maybe it's time, maybe it's time to get, make that move get out and i thought at the same time the market was going to crash in 2019 so timing the market is not always uh correct right i mean if we could all time the market i think we'd all be multi multi-millionaires but i sold them all in 2019 i did well but if i would have held them probably just one more year maybe a year and a half i would have probably doubled my profit uh just for the fact of you know what happened during 2020 and what happened with home prices but now they're staying up there. They're sticking up there, especially here in the Dallas area. So it's something that, that you have to keep in mind that uh, it, look at the trends and real estate is very hyper-local. So what you may hear in the news, uh, the news media, what you may see on YouTube channels, they're talking about everything's crashing, coming to a screeching halt. Uh, and that one has ensuite as well. It's just, you know, we're just not seeing that right now here in Dallas. Now we are in another ensuite bathroom right here. So the thing is, is that uh, you have to look at the local market, but mainly if you're thinking about making that move, then you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so that we can talk through your current situation. By the way, I didn't mention, my name is Levi and I know most of you know that, but if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe below and, and tap the bell for notifications if you wanna be the first to learn about the current market here in Dallas. So, you know, we get reach outs every day. People are still buying and selling homes in this market. Happens every single day. And we're a big part of that. That's a really, not a bad view going all through there, right? Let me just make sure that you're seeing what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, exactly. So it's really nice. And you know, this community is one of the most sought after and Winsong has been ranked as the number one, you know, master plan community in all of North Dallas. 
So the opportunities to get in here now, they just open up this little section back here, which I'm showing you building out right there. Um, here with these two home builders, all custom homes. Well, not all custom homes, about 50, 50, 50% 50 custom, 50% spec. So uh, the spec homes are gonna be around uh, 2 million or so. I'm gonna take you over here real quick and see this property. It's absolutely amazing uh, again, but you got the walking trails. 30 miles of paved trails and you've got bike trails off-roading so if you want to take it off-roading you can actually ride your bike on the paved trails and make it all the way to the back of the community and work your way into uh, the off-road there's three off-road biking trails which is pretty cool and of course you've got the five acre crystal lagoon that is really the biggest draw here in Winsong, that's what everybody loves. It's filtered water, no chlorine. You don't come out smelling like a chemical bath. It's absolutely amazing. White sandy beaches. And you've got the amenity center with the pools, the lap pools, the kid pools, the tennis courts, the pickleball courts, the basketball courts. I mean, the, the natural uh, little ponds, catch and release ponds. You've got the dog park. I mean, the amenities go on and on and on in this community and people love it. And right now, they are currently building the middle school and a high school within the community. There's already three elementary schools in Winsong. So if your kids are, uh, they have the little Vespa going by. You know, if you're in Winsong, your kids are going to go to one of three elementary schools, which is very, very convenient. And now they will, now they are building the middle school and the high school in the community. And they're building another high school right outside the community. So. I also know what's going on uh, overall up here. So that's why I wanted to buy because I knew prices were down just because of seasonality. Now they're up. I already got, <laughs> I already got a hundred thousand in equity in my property and I haven't even had it for maybe eight months, that new one. I'm probably going to go ahead and sell, you know, they just banned Airbnb down in Dallas, but that's okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell my property down there. Uh, I've got a couple hundred thousand in equity in that property. I'll get rid of it and then I'm going to move into apartments. Uh, I'm just going to invest that into some more apartments. And that's really my long-term goal is, is to put everything I have, uh, well, not everything, but most of everything I have just in apartments. I'm just going to be working on deals all the time. So uh, this one we're about to close on in two weeks is going to be my third deal this year. Again, I think uh, it will give me around 620 units total, which is awesome. I had a goal of 500 units this year. But, uh, you know, it's all just part of the plan. But otherwise, single family homes are, uh, you know, they're getting harder to come by. We're short in this country right now as, as a whole. There's short inventory in Dallas too. Now this price range, two and a half million is definitely for on the upper end for those of you watching. But check out a couple of the other videos. We've been creating some videos recently on, you know, affordability and new construction communities that you can find for, you know, less than 200,000 for just over 200,000, less than 300,000. You have a lot of those opportunities coming in. Now, this property right here, Partners of America that is building this house, this house, that one was empty of course, but this one's staged, absolutely amazing. Let's go in and take a look. Now, as we come into this home by Partners of, uh, of America, it's absolutely amazing. I, what I love here is all this open, uh, when all the open windows here, almost floor to ceiling, but sliding glass. So you can open this up. Uh, you've got amazing pull out there. I mean, this formal dining room right there uh, gives you plenty of access to see outside so you don't feel just cramped. And you know, most dining rooms are just kind of off in their own little corner, something like that, a wet bar area as well. And even plenty of room for uh, what, three, three, six, seven, eight, eight chair breakfast table you gotta love that but as i was saying here in winsong i mean the island that island is absolutely massive now this should give you a better idea of what it looks like to be staged here uh, in one of these beautiful homes i mean this one is done very very well all the finishes that i like i mean you got the gray island on here i mean beautiful stove water on the back end laundry rooms back here you can see uh, really good options that you have in these properties. But this is definitely for uh, the higher end clients, right? This one's at 2.6 million, this model home. And you can build, uh, either get into a couple of specs here or build straight custom. This one's at 5,300 square feet, five bedroom, five and a half bath. Again, look at all these windows 
open to the pool area. You know, no matter where you're at in the house, you're gonna easily be able to see outside. You can keep an eye on the, kiddo, on the kiddos um, just to make sure that they're okay. They'll be running in and jumping all around, uh, which really gives you that nice um, feeling of comfort, right? Whenever the kids are out there, especially if you have the friends over. I mean, just this, this is really cool though because this bathroom, kind of a Jack and Jill style, but at the same time comes right through here into the pool area, the pool room, you could say. You've got uh, ceramic tile, really nice tile in the flooring in here. So, I mean, they put a rug down, maybe it's uh, water absorbent. Look at that, three TVs back there and the sliding, the California doors right there to open this all the way up to have access outside to uh, you can see grill seating area nice backyard i mean everything you need have different games on so when you get all the friends over here uh, no matter which team they like you should be able to get it up there i mean you could put a pool table in here shuffleboard i mean all kinds of different options you could throw out in here really makes this home very unique and uh, they've got four lots left two specs and two customs and then of course this model home whenever those four homes sell out. So the opportunities are limited here, but let's uh, take you upstairs. Now coming upstairs, you've got this amazing catwalk area up, up here that overlooks uh, downstairs as well. And I really like this feature too, is that you've got again, open windows all throughout here, gives you a good look down at the pool. Absolutely stunning. You can come into here. This could be a nice movie room, which is Really nice. Uh, you'd have to get some blackout shades for the windows, of course, but plenty of space up here as well. Half bath or no, full bath off to the side. Got a couple of bedrooms throughout here. This one is pretty good size as well with its own ensuite and it has a window overlooking the pool area. But lots of good space right here. And again, being inside of Winsong, highly, highly desirable. The opportunities are getting less. Oh, and you come back here into one of the other uh, bedrooms here, is up, here upstairs, but I wanna show you something that's kinda cool that you've got, uh, not only do you have the closet, but you've got a closet inside the closet. So this is something, oh, slip into here. You could probably turn this into a little bit of a safe room or something like that if you wanted to. Now it's upstairs, wouldn't really be good for a tornado room. Although we don't, you know, I know a lot of people have questions about tornadoes, but we don't have a lot of problems here. I mean, yes, they come through the Dallas area, but nothing is really, I mean, I've been here for 20 years. I think maybe one tornado has just kind of like come through the middle of Dallas since then. Nobody was killed by the way. So that's, that's, that's good news on top of it. But I want to take you downstairs uh, through the main bedroom because you have to see that. So let's go check it out. Now I got to scooch it back here to the main uh, bedroom and bath. It's absolutely amazing. First of all, look at this bathroom. It's massive. Uh, it's pretty good size. And the closet as well. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with this closet, okay? <laughs> Hopefully this does it a little bit of justice that you can see, but it's amazing. And the shower. now. Oh, nice, uh, nice throne room. You've got a little separate, you got a drying area right here for the bathroom, but look at this. You have your dual showers, very nice because, you know, oh, you've got dual drying areas on top of that. I mean, just the convenience alone for this bathroom makes it worthwhile. Then you're gonna come into the primary, which is really nice. It's got windows overlooking the pool, windows overlooking the backyard and Plenty of room for a king size bed. I mean, the decorations, the staging, everything that they've done in here. I love these, these uh, shades. I mean, really nice. And you can see though, now construction on the backside, they're gonna have some trees. It'll be a nice little barrier once those fill in and grow up and get a little bit bigger. But otherwise, and you got some nice fluffy chairs. Sounds like there's uh, some other people in the house. So let's, uh, let's finish this up back outside and there you have it uh two amazing multi-million dollar model homes here in winsong ranch on the back side nice and quiet uh getting built out open right now so if you have any questions 
about uh, these types of homes going up back here, but they have some as well in a much lower price range, right? If you would rather be down around the million price range, then there's some options around here as well. If you still wanna build for new construction, they are, uh, they are getting less and less starting to run out. So now's a good time, but again, Th this market's going to continually appreciate. I, I do believe that uh, the home prices here, yes, there's going to be some issues uh, elsewhere uh, throughout several markets, especially around the U.S., but Dallas is holding pretty strong economics, uh, you know, jobs, the government here. I mean, they're very pro-business, very pro-freedom. You know, those are the types of in, uh, environment that just make it a robust economy. Now, they're dealing with, of course, a lot of other issues, but they'll work through that and get it all out. But again, this is when you know you have opportunity, when there's lots that haven't been built on, when there's homes that haven't been completed yet, then that tells you you still have plenty of room for appreciation in this. And let me know in the comments below again, you know, uh, it's been a while since we've just kind of chatted one-on-one, -on -one, right? Usually got Alex, my guy out with me, running around uh, doing all the fancy stuff but you know i just thought i wanted to come out here do a quick video on this area so let me know if we can help you out in any way all of that information is in the description below and you know this is if this is not in your price range make sure you check out some of our other videos that we have on the most affordable suburbs around or the most affordable homes as well you have to check those out and until next time well we hope to show you around town. What if I told you that the number five fastest growing zip code in the entire United States was also the most affordable and you could find homes as low as $217,000 brand new construction 